Okay guys, here's another one for you. This is called the Real Rock Rhythm. This is a classic reggae rhythm. And although it's a one drop beat, this, this rhythm is about the bass line, the little organ lick, and there's a little hand drum that drops on the four um, with the snare, okay? The Real Rock Rhythm. Okay, and also there's in the original Studio One, which is at faster tempo, um, I'm doing this at 74 beats per minute, yeah. There's a trombone lick, we're going to look at how to do that as well, just as a little bit of an extra, right? Alright, so the real rock rhythm. Let's do it. Uh, right, let's put in an empty region on the drum track. Put the cycle range around it. I've changed the snare drum. I'll show you that in a bit. Now the drum beat, as I said, it's it's really about the bass line, the little organ lick, um, and that drum dropping on the four with the snare. This is basically a one drop, right? So we'll go with the brush tool, quantize set to sixteenths, and um, put in a closed hat. Make them all shorter, which as I keep saying, just makes them easier to see. It doesn't make them play back shorter. Give them a good velocity of 100, thereabouts. And then get the velocity tool. We're going to hold shift and select every other hat. Yep, 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 like that. Lower those right down to about 10. Okay. Then the last hat in each half of the bar. I'll put the velocity of those up to about 35. Like that. Just so we hear those a little bit stronger. Okay, and then every third hat in each quarter beat, push it up to the pedal. Like that. Okay. Now, this is a one drop, so the um, kick drum is going to fall on the two and the four. Okay, we're doing it at normal tempo, so the drop's on the two and the four. Um, in double tempo, then it drops on the three, right? Okay, um, and for this we're using a regular snare, which also drops because it's a one drop on the two and the four with the kick, like that. Well, that's it basically we've looked at one drop variations you can do all the one drop variations in this if you want to do a, a version of it with the side stick instead of the snare you can do that as well but that's it it's basically a one drop okay just give those snares a smidge more volume 104 or three or something okay now what's important about this piece it has to have that hand drum dropping on the four here so let's get that done. Um, I've got a track set up here, African Kit, which is in the library in World Percussion. Yeah, African Kit. Put an empty region on its track, and I'm going to use the note F4, which is like, it's almost like a djembe, it's like a hard slap, uh, djembe type slap sound crossed with a timbale, I suppose. It's, you know, you want to sound like that, kind of hard sound. And this little um, drum lick drops on the four with the snare here, right? So we start off by putting a first note on that four. I zoom in on that so we can see what we're doing, right? So put a note on three sixteenths like that, following you know starting on the four. Make them all shorter like that, and then. Bring this one into the middle of that 16th and bring that one so it's right in the middle of that line and that one sits in the middle between those two right okay and then um, copy that one across into the middle of that 16th and then another one so that it's the line of this 16th is just going through its trailing edge 
so they're kind of spaced pretty much the same but the gaps getting slightly bigger as we go further back like that and then one more like that okay now the velocity the last one right down about five or six or something right this one about 20 21 or something that one about 35 36 this one about 50 that one about 65 and that first one about 90 3 4 5 something like that so they're just dropping down in level let's hear that Like that, okay. And that's that little drum lick. Okay. Um, another bass. Bass track. Let's put an empty region on the track. Okay. Now, this bass line features that kind of fast fingered sixteenth do 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 thing, like we looked at in an earlier beat. That when we looked at a couple of those um, beats from the Big Youth album, Dreadlock Dread, there was that one that went. Um, do, 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 you know, and it's that whole thing of starting on a root note and then going up a fifth to a fast fingered row of sixteenths. Okay, so I'm going to start an octave up so we can really hear what we're doing, just to get the 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 um, the theory of where the notes go. So I'll start in C three. Now the first note drops. There is no note, no bass note in the first beat. It's empty. You come in with the first bass note on the drop on the two. Right? Like that. Let's bring its velocity up to about 75. Okay? And then we got from this a fifth. So I mean, I'm starting in C and an octave up so we can really hear the pitch. But I'm doing this initially in C so we can count up a fifth really easily. One, two, three, four, five. And on the fifth. We put a fast finger row of sixteenths like that, and that's it. Then there's a transition note, a third up, so from the root. So one, two, three, major third up. We're working in major for this, right? And that transition note goes on that sixteenth before this second half of the bar, where the row of sixteenths begins, and that's it. And shorten that. Okay, so root, major third, fifth. Okay. Now let's bring all this down to now it's a C two, an octave lower. So that's the note um, intervals. Root note, whatever you start in, major third, and then the final row of sixteenths beginning on the second half of the bar, a fifth above the root. First, major third, fifth. Okay, now I'm going to actually lower this all down to A sharp, which is nearer to the original. Okay, but the interval has to be the same. So, you know, just check this is root, major third, come on, major third. Fifth, okay. Okay, and um, then we just bring this note a little bit back off its line, a smidge like that. And then we just do a little bit of velocity. Just get every other note here, we just lower its velocity a little bit lower. Now there's compression on the bass, which will even this out quite a lot actually but it's, it's very subtle this but just every other note a little bit less right and the gap between these is important you, look this this beat spans decades right going from the, the studio one old version which is like almost a rock steady vibe 
to more electronic versions okay if you're going for a really electronic vibe with an electronic bass sound mate you can go with shorter staccato -y notes you know but if you're going with a, a natural uh, electric bass sound you know a real bass sound you want you don't want these to be too long so they spill into each other yeah you want to be a little bit shorter so you can hear the notes separate but they're not too staccato Something like that. And that is your real rock bass line. Okay, now it's permissible to have a note on the first beat of the bar as well. That still is classed as a real rock bass line. Also, the opening note in this salvo of sixteenths here, beginning on the second half of the bar, can be an eighth. Whether or not you've got the two opening notes or you just come in with that note on the second beat. This can be an eighth and it's still classed as real rock. Or without that note. Okay, let's see, undo all that. But you know, let's take that note out now. But we looked at all different variations we can do when with this with when you get a fast row of sixteenths like this, you know, um with, with that previous beat, the big youth one. But you can do things like um, you know, the third note can be an eighth. Okay, so we've got a third note there as an eighth, so it's do 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 do. Or the last note can be an eighth. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Or both the third notes can be eighths. These we're going off into different variations. I'm just showing you you can use real rock as a basis to branch out and make variations of your own, you know. etc like that we could do a dip down thing on the four here just dip down two semitones like that do 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 you know and that could be an eighth at the end or an eighth there dipping down whatever you know, lots of variations you can do but that's your real rock okay now to Unless you are going for a very electronic sounding version where these notes are very staccato and do, 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 like that. When we're going for a feel of a real electric bass, like a classic vibe version, we don't want these notes to be too attacking and staccato, do, 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 like that. So I've made some slight modifications to the bass. Here's the bass track, here's its channel. And if we look at the EXS sampler, what I've done is I've brought up the attack on the amp envelope so that the notes are fractionally fading in. They've got a softer attack, right? So they're not so do 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 at the beginning. I've set the attack time to 20 milliseconds. Okay, so there's just a little bit of a soft attack. But if you want, you can make that a bit more, 20, 30, whatever. But having a, a, a slightly slower attack, you know, up here about 20 to 30 milliseconds, just means it takes the edge off the beginning of the note, so they're not so hard. And the release is set to 144 milliseconds, so they don't die away immediately when they stop. The other thing is, look at the level here for the velocity. Yeah, this is down here, not very deep. There's very little velocity variation for, for loudness. Okay. All right, so actually I'll just push this up to 27 milliseconds attack time. So the notes have got a nice soft attack and they're not too staccato and hard, right? Okay, and then for the EQ for the bass, I've scooped, you know, I've, I've got a high cut here down at 118 hertz, cutting everything above that out. So we've got all 
everything above 118 carton real deep bass a little bit of a boost three and a half db boost on the 75 hertz low shelf there so a nice deep rounded bass and a compression on this i'm getting about 5 db of um gain reduction a five to one ratio the threshold's down so i'm getting about 5 db of reduction on the meter but the important thing is your release time here I've got it up at 620 milliseconds okay above 500 milliseconds or slightly above you don't want the release to be so short that the compressor can recover in between these fast sixteenths and you get a pumping okay that's the bass okay now let's do the um, rhythm guitar I'll say this for each of the beats that I do in case someone drops in from YouTube this is this beat is part of um, this video is part of a whole tutorial I'm doing on on reggae, um, and at the moment we're just going going through a whole load of different reggae beats and bass lines, and for each one we do we just put in a simple rhythm guitar doing chaps chap and chap and chap like that. Once we've gone through loads of different beats and bass lines, then we'll look at things like rhythm keyboards and we'll we'll go further right. But um, we'll just have a, a rhythm guitar with this. Um, but in this one, I'm going to put a rhythm piano in as well, just to show you a, a little technique. Okay, so here's our clean guitar channel we've used for all the other beats so far. I haven't done anything to this. Put an empty region on it, and the guitar chaps fall in the middle of each quarter beat. Okay, so our bass is in A sharp, so A sharp, right in the middle of this quarter beat, A sharp major like that make all these shorter give them a velocity about 105 nice and strong and there's the first chap and it's a sharp major the same as the opening note of the bass but the bass note doesn't come until here the second beat okay now we copy this chord across to in the middle of all the other quarter beats right there there and there. Now in the second half of the bar the guitar chords drop down two semitones like that. Now that is not the note that the bass line goes up to. I've dropped this down from the chord down from A sharp major to G sharp major. But the bass goes up from A sharp up to F a fifth above A sharp right. So this second chord is harmonizing with the bass. The bass, this is the chord, right? Right, dropping down two semitones from the original chord, which is the same as the opening bass note. Now if we put in the a guitar note the same as the bass, the F there, make it longer so you can hear it. This is the note the bass goes up to, and you'll hear that as a sixth harmonizing with that chord. So that's the note the bass is doing, and this second chord harmonizes with the bass. I believe that's a sixth relative to this chord, right? Okay. So the simple story is your opening chord is the same as the opening note of the bass, then the chord drops down in the second half of the bar two semitones, but the bass line goes up from the root note here up a fifth that's it right now we're going to also have a rhythm piano okay uh, so let's look at the tracks here i've got a track set up and the piano i'm using is called before talkies okay it's in piano in the library in piano experimental and it's called before talkies and it's a honky tonk upright type piano sound right put an empty region on its track like that. Now we go to the guitar region, we just put the chords in for, select all these chords, edit, copy. Go to the piano region, which is empty at the moment, edit, paste at original position. And those chords we copy from the guitar uh, region will be pasted into this piano region at exactly the right position. Boom, there they are. Let's mute the guitar and listen to the piano. Now I've got the piano down low, let's turn it up a bit. 
and I'm going to put these up an octave so I push them up to A sharp 3 like that an octave up like that ok now we'll bring the guitar back in and I'll lower the piano below the guitar OK, and there's the rhythm instruments in the guitar and piano. OK, now that just leaves one thing, um, the little organ lick. OK, and here I've got the track set up, classic rock organ. Um, Logic doesn't give us a good selection of cheap, cheesy 1950s, 60s electronic or and 70s electronic organs, sadly. I don't know what this lick was originally played on. Whether it was like an old Farfisa electric organ or something, but you want a thin, not too fat organ sound, right? And we're going to use the same note as for the bass, which is bass starting note, A sharp, up here. And the organ lick happens right in the middle of the second quarter beat here. So A sharp right in the middle of that quarter beat, pencil in an A sharp and it drops down the same two semitones as the guitar chord to the next 16th so and then the opening note, the 16th before that note this is the same note as the opening note of the bass line, right? is the F, the same as the fast fingered line of notes the bass goes up to so. And that's it, that's the lick. Okay, you can try making those notes longer or whatever you like. Okay, and if you want to, you can just bring them back off their line a little bit like that as well to give them a bit of, of a held back vibe. And that's it, and I've got the bass up nice and loud and proud, by the way. Okay. That's it, apart from the trombone. We'll look at that in a sec. Okay, now, um, just to show you what I did to the drums, I slightly changed the drums. Um, here's the drum track. Open it up. Choose the overheads. There's the overhead track. Here's its channel. That always has the drum kit designer instrument on. I just changed the snare to the bell brass. I dampened it, but I've switched the leak channel on. Now this isn't a room mic, this is a, a sort of little ambient sound from around the snare. Makes the snare a little bit more ambient sounding. Alright, and then um, in the mixer, here's my snare main channel. Okay, I've got some compression on there, I've EQ'd the snare like that. A little boost at 5k, a little boost at 110. I've dropped the mids at 750 with fairly wide Q and a little dip on the mids here at 2.5k as well. All right. And then here's the leak channel here. Now it's a very, very subtle sound, this leak channel. So I've rammed the, 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 the fader right up so I can hear it. Let's solo it and listen. It's just the, an ambient sound of the snare. And that's blending in with the snare. Although it's very subtle. And the snare's got a little bit of spring reverb on. Okay. There you go, and um, let's just go back to the drums. And with this being a one drop, we've looked at the one drop already, but you know, you can do all the little things. You put a slice at the end if you want. You put a slice at the end of each half of the bar if you want. You know, whatever you like. And if you want to do a, a different version with a side stick, change it to a side stick. Nothing wrong with that. Although, you know, it's kind of not strictly real rock. You know, you can do all your one drop licks, like you can do your classic one drop, um, you know, this kind of thing. 
You know what I mean? Let's put those kicks up a bit actually. A bit louder than 110. Yeah, but you can still put that classic snare lick, uh, one drop snare lick in um, if you're using just regular snare instead of a side stick, you know, which is what the classic real rock rhythm uses. Nothing wrong with putting that same lick in. You know what I mean? And all the other little um, variations that we looked at. Um, let's just take that out, put that back. You know, all them little extra licks that, you know, like... Um, You know what I mean? If you you know, they can be played by other drums, toms, whatever. You know what I mean? Alrighty. So there you go. Um, that's the real rock rhythm. Now the trombone. Let's look at this trombone. Um, for this, I've got two trombone tracks. I've got a staccato trombone, which gives us the hard attacking notes. But the staccato trombone notes. They're just the attack notes. They don't. You can't have long notes with this um, instrument. Okay, this sample set. And to get that staccato trombone, you load up a regular um, orchestral brass trombone. Then you open the excess sampler, you, and you load a different sample set directly into the excess sampler here. Right, factory, orchestral, brass, trombone staccato. And that gives us your staccato trombones. Then on the second track, you just load the regular orchestral brass trombones. These don't have the hard, fast attack, but they do long notes. Okay, and then we need two bars to do the trombone lick. So let's copy the whole rhythm across two bars long. Bring the cycle range to two bars like that. Now I'm just going to mute the organ in the first lick here, in the first bar. We don't want that to clash with our opening trombone lick in this bar here. It'll it'll set the little organ lick will happen here in the second bar. Okay. So uh, I go to my staccato trombone, put in a region, two bars long, and the lick happens here at the beginning. Like, and we're going to work in the we're in A sharp, so A sharp, right? So in the middle of that quarter beat, the first quarter beat, a note. Then up, up to the D, major third, back down again to the root note, which is, in this case is A sharp, and then down, sorry that note should be there in the middle of that quarter beat. Then down to the G sharp like the guitar chord is dropping down to. And then on the first beat of the next bar, here, put the same note, like that. Now these are the staccato trombone notes, so no matter how long we make them, they just play short, like that, right? So these want to be like a sixteenth in length. Like that. Then we just copy that region onto the regular trombone track. Now the regular trombone does longer notes. So this last note, bring it out. That one can be brought out as well if you want. Like that. Uh, we want the regular trombone to be lower in volume, so I'm bringing the volume down for this trombone relative to the staccato trombones. Because I've lowered this regular trombone, I put the velocity of that note up and that note up loud so they match the staccato ones that are a bit louder. bit less for that. Right? 
and then to get the slide for the last trombone note here we get your MIDI draw choose pitch bend and where's that note there there's the note right this can come forward a, a smidge like that because it's got a slow attack right put a, a note right there I mean a note a node a pitch bend node at zero regular pitch right there on that starting point first speed to the second bar and then about three sixteenths back another node bring it right up as far as it will go like that and then we bend that curve with the curve tool like that so it slides up to that note Yeah, and there's your trombone. You can work on this curve to make it smooth or whatever. Alrighty. Um, and there's your little trombone lick. And if you've got the trombone lick, don't have the little organ over that opening bit of the trombone because it clashes a bit, right? No, I'm just showing you that's a little extra. A little fun extra. I mean, the trombone's in like the old Studio One version, which has a faster tempo, you know what I mean? But... Just bring these trombones up a bit more than regular ones so that that note, the long note here following the staccato note is about the same volume. Yeah, and there's a little bit of brass. We'll, we'll look more at brass when we've finished all these beats and we start getting into other stuff. We'll look at rhythm keyboards and brass and dub effects and all sorts right and uh, you know whatever all right there you go that's the real rock rhythm um you can kind of say in some ways it was one of the one of the first modern reggae bass lines in in that it started as a as a rock steady thing back in real back in the day but progressed forward with the following decades always being like modernized and modernized it stayed the same but little tweaks were made here and there and, and of course the sound of the mix um the sound of the of the reggae chain you know reggae evolved and and the real rock rhythm was always there and if you want to hear loads of different real rock rhythms go to um youtube and look up real rock rhythm compilation and someone has put up three videos all of real rock rhythm tracks using the real rock rhythm okay and this is um eka mouse here for example <laughs> Left me slim thing on me gonna foreign Bang bang medi bang bang the oin When me come back said the girl big Notice with this real rock rhythm on the Seeker Mouse one they're using the opening note on the bass boom boom do -do. you can use the two bass notes coming in on the first beat of the bar the classic real rock rhythm leaves out that first bass note quarter beat and comes in with the bass on the second beat but in this one uh, like quite a few of them it, it uses um, an opening note on the first and second beat and fat young bang bang many bang bang the oin me want to know if to grind or anorexia do the ad all of us certain our friends they match a ad the other time we cite them our ad yeah real rock rhythm tons and tons of them to listen to alrighty so there you go real rock rhythm it's a classic it's spanned over decades this and it's a a fantastic one um because it's all about the bass right it's a fantastic one to use as um, a basis to branch off and create your own bass lines but again it features this fast fingered sixteenth a fifth above the root, yeah. hope that's been useful and I shall see you for the next beat or rhythm.